Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 68 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. Looks like we have a couple of scenes to view. I'm going to be skipping most of this, but let's do it anyway. So, if I was taking a bath, a regular bath, and he thinks he's going to head over to the steam baths, or sauna. What? Ah, buddy, here's the voice. The short version of this would be, Theo is trying to get Eel to take a bath in the steam bath. Eel's retreating, because she can't take it. But leaving Mikio behind in such a hot place, she could be hurt. Well, more like she'd just pass out from the heat. That's how hot people like baths in Japan, I guess. But she can't do that, so she asks for Avaro's help. So the three of them hang out in the steam bath together. Yada yada yada, sex happens. So, I'll see you soon. MEGA POWER! Hmm, that's only the second time I've gotten 1,000 in one scene. Well, anyway, Fia has gained a new rank. Well, this is nice. Important to notice, she now gets to move four squares every turn. Uh, magic and magic defense. Oh, an improved anti-air attack. Although we don't frequently use it, it would be useful against flying creatures. That would be plus six damage, I believe. Here it is. Oh, plus ten accuracy and plus six damage. I don't pay attention to accuracy too much. I'm usually pretty accurate. would like to note that usually when she gets a rank up, she gets her stat caps raised. But she's still at her cap for luck, and she's still at her cap for physical damage. So I can't say that it's really going up at the speed I want it to. But whatever. So that was scene number one. Scene number two. So one day Rosaline comes up to Avaro. A little agitated. So she wants another try at that lottery machine thing. Fortune teller box? Well, whatever you want to come. Avaro says, sure. Give it a shot. Alright, thanks. So, she's gonna try it. She actually puts a lot of effort into this. Oddly enough. Well... Okay, so how was it? It was bad, again. Well, there are days like this. They happen occasionally. And anyway, it, take it as a warning that you should be careful today. Well, she thanks him for being so considerate, but it's all right. She actually predicted this outcome. It's true. She wasn't looking forward to it. Not even a little bit. She wasn't. Aw, oh, man. Avaro, you're a horrible person. She had her hopes up, and now she's unhappy because of you. You should feel bad about yourself. Oh. Man. I will point out that of all of my characters, she does in fact have the lowest luck score of only two. Beating out even our undead characters. And in this particular series, the undead have a horrible, 
horrible rate of luck. Well, I guess she associates with the undead, so she's not too far off in terms of things, but still. I just got a feel for her. Anyway, we got Fiadu rank 11, so that means we're obviously going to the next place. Aren't we? Aren't we? Oh, look, a scene. It's almost like I expected it. I like how she doesn't scream these things out at the top of her lungs anymore. So yeah, you're looking good. <laughs> Alright, she's thinking that response is kind of miscellaneous. A bit generic. Okay, say, Avaro. I don't suppose you think that if you just praise Fia here a little bit, then she'll just get all happy all of a sudden like a normal girl, do you? Oh boy, you're sharp. As expected of my lord and lover. Despite, in spite, uh, in addition to being beautiful, you're also quite smart. You're practically glowing with it. <laughs> ha. So, praising her a little bit and she gets all happy like a normal girl. Anyway, I would like to point out, she, she corrects of our... It shouldn't be Bijin, meaning beautiful person, but Bigami, meaning beautiful god. Yeah, just worry about that. Okay, so, you built up enough power to get moving. Right, so, we're ready to go to the Geysers of Harsh Truth. And if we pass through there, that's the Dragon Tribes area territory. That would be Yutorid Holy Re Holy Mountains. Yeah, if we mess up around there, we're gonna have a big problem on our hands. And before getting there, we need to get through the territory that Maz Teridia has taken. Who's Masteria? Yeah, uh, well, this is ambiguous. She could be saying, what is Masteria? That is the religious faith with the largest military force on the planet. If we make enemies of them, they could crush the entire castle. It'd be nice if we could pass by safely. Hey. <laughs> This is odd. Are you nervous? Oh, she's not nervous at all. With her discussion powers, she's sure that she'll be able to get well, along well with them. Alright, we're counting on you, Fia. So, we'll get along with Mazteria and then we can get some good allies and move forward. Alright then, as the goddess of connections, she's going to have a severe and light conversation, have fun with it, and they're going to enjoy it. Yeah, I've always wondering if the Representative of my Mas Terry is going to get along the way with the we get along. He thinks that might be a little too much to ask of, you know, responsible people. We're kind of short on responsible people here in the party. Rosaline's up there, but... Well, with her goof-offs with that fortune-telling box, 
it's hard to take her seriously sometimes. And then there's Rishu. She's a ruler of an entire freehold city, but she's also a complete ditz. Anyway, now we're ready to go to another map. And I didn't do this in my trial run because I already know I'm not going to have enough time for it. For one thing, this right here, Blazing Wheel Mikshuana. Do you remember her? She showed up in a couple of cutscenes like four chapters ago. Anyway, from the title of the chapter, we should know that she is our final boss. So this is going to big, be a big, tough, and difficult battle. In addition to this, uh, hammer-wielding ghost spirit, Archangel Ghost Haza, Angel Karufeara, and some other kind of angel. I don't know all these angel names in Japanese. Anyway, Shutorael. So, another thing I'd like to look at, we get pearl steel out of this place, which I'm looking forward to. I haven't had a consistent supply of it. Hell, I'm pretty sure I haven't had any supply of it. I have two units of it. One I got in a chest, another I got as a in a map mission somewhere. And that is all that you could acquire up to this point, but now we can get all we want. And I want a lot of it, actually. So, man, I wish I had more to show you, but I can't jump into that battle. It'll probably take me over an hour. So, I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.